Hi, welcome to G74 Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to set up groups on the Google Home app. So go into your Google Home app and um, at the bottom of the screen usually you wouldn't see groups until you've set them up. I've already set up two, first floor group and ground floor group. Okay, so to set up all of the devices that I have, because I want a group that incorporates every single device, you have to go into each one individually. So if I click on the first floor Wi-Fi port, now this particular um, point um, is a Wi-Fi extender, but it has Google capabilities. So you can still talk to it as you would any Google unit. Okay, so if you click on the cog at the top right of the screen and it brings you into an option page. Now you can see a little way down, it shows you groups, first floor group, and that's one of the groups that it's in. So I'm going to set it up. So I'll click on that. And I create a new device group. Okay, so the group name will be anything you want to call it. Okay, so now we save that. So you'll note that in groups now, it says first floor group and all Google devices. Okay, now that was the most difficult part of it. So it's pretty easy. Um, now I wanna do the back room speaker. Do the same again. You press the cog. Now, when you go into groups, you'll now see that you've got all Google devices, first floor group and ground floor group. So if I click on all Google devices and save. So that's Sorry, I didn't understand. Really? That is unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> right, that is really off putting. Now the um Nest Wi-Fi router hasn't got Google capabilities. That is just the router that comes directly out the back of my um router uh, from my um service provider. Conservatory TV is actually uh, Google Chrome, um, so I won't want to include that, but I do want to include other speakers. So if I go to conservatory speaker, press the cog, go to groups, ground, where it says ground floor group, and then click all Google devices, save. And then now I've done that one, dressing room speaker. Again, the cog, groups, all Google devices, save. Okay, and then we want the kitchen display. Almost done. Oh, that's it actually. Um, so now I've got my three groups. So I've got my ground floor group, first floor group and all Google devices. With these groups, if I want to listen to some music, then I would give the command to Google and ask it to play a particular um song or band on all Google devices, on first floor group or on ground floor group. It's a great thing um, for parties if you want music all around the house um, or if you're doing stuff around the house on the ground floor or on the first floor, you can actually just ask it to play those particular groups. So when you go from room to room, you can listen to music all the way through and um, it's it's seamless. It's, um, you know, you go from one room to the other, hear the music without any delay. It's all streaming simultaneously. Well, I hope you find this useful. My first video in a long time and it went terribly wrong. <laughs> and um, I'll bring some more to you soon. Bye.